guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Misty Miller and I am going to talk to you guys about a few things that are really very, very dear to me and I believe to other people and just very passionate about. There's a lot of, you know, stories that I listen to on YouTube and I just think it would be really really cool just to bring kind of like this like a a new perspective or like this fresh perspective on um, on the spirit realm so I would like to talk about some things that I've experienced that other people have experienced just stories and just kind of like dig in and, and you know have a discussion have an intelligent conversation about the unknown about things that we don't really see um, on a regular basis. I um, personally believe that there is an invisible realm, that there is a, this, you know, divine place that we all are curious about as, as human beings. I think that it's, it's our nature, it is, is in, in our uh, hearts to, desire to know this place, to desire um, to understand it. And uh, if we will ever understand it, I, I don't think we will ever understand um, because there are so many different experiences, so many different, you know, ideas of, of what this place looks like. Um, you know, I've, I've read a lot of books. I have had experiences myself or, or what I would like to call encounters that are just so diverse and so um, different from one another, but also almost kind of like the same. Um, so anyway, uh, let's get into the story and start this conversation. So, all right, let's give me a brief summary about uh, my life. I have struggled with uh, addiction since I was about 15, 16 years old. It's something that I've struggled with and, and I, I fall and I rise and you know, I just gotta keep getting up and just dusting my shoulders off and just keep going. I just, you know, we get we just get up and we forgive ourselves and, and ask for forgiveness and, and just keep moving on. So, not to get off track, but um, so that's what started, you know, at 14, 15, I took my first Lord to have and just spiral from there to where when I, when I turned 28, I was, I was just a full blown, it was just full blown using. And, um, you know, I was, had two children at the time, um, Cameron and Brooklyn, and uh, I ended up overdosing in 2013. And I had an experience where I actually had an uh, out of body experience where I, I had died. I overdosed. At this point in my life, I didn't want to live. I didn't want to um, be a mom. I just was so exhausted. I was so tired from life and I didn't understand why it was so hard, why I just could not get out of this rut that I was in because the addiction was just so strong. Um, and two days prior, I had cried out to God and I told him, I was just like, I'm done. I'm done with life. And you know, if you're real, then I need you to do something because I am so fed up I'm to the point to where I just want to go and um, two days later I overdosed and when I ended up crossing over I looked I was looking at my body and I was relieved because I wasn't feeling any more pain like the pain that I was experiencing you know alive I guess you can say was so immense, just the emotional intensity that I experienced and the physical um, pain from just hurting all the time and needing something just to even function um, was gone. And I was just, had a moment of relief and I saw Jesus. I saw him and I reached out to him, but then I realized I was not going up. I actually started to go down. It's like this vortex like pulled up and begin to spin around me and draw me down into what was seemed like an empty cavern. It was a black, uh, what I would call an outer darkness. And this huge being, he had to be about 13 foot tall. He had horns 
um, and his eyes were uh, looked like ember, like his um, head. His it's almost like his it wasn't a mask, but his face was made of coal, and the inside of his eyes burned burned like ember. And I always remember fighting him and and pushing on him, and it freaked me out because as this thing that did not look like a human, it looked more of like a creature or a bird, or a bird um, had hair, like human hair under his arms. And I was like, ah, I was just like, kind of freaked me out. Now mind you, it's dark. My mind was opened up and this is, I, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to really articulate in words, in our language, what this was like but I will try to the best of my ability is that I had the ability to know and see everything that was going on and I could see this creature although it was pitch black um, and I'm watching what he's doing and he pulls out this his hand and he, there's this talon it's about that long and he pulls my hair down and starts splitting my scalp in half and the pain was so immense and it was so intense that it was absolutely unbearable. I just screamed at the, at the top of my lungs. And I started, I was blaming God, you know. I had blamed God a couple of nights prior for my condition that I was in, for the state that I was in. And I was still blaming him. Like, I started screaming, how can you do, how can this be? How can you allow something like this to happen to me? I don't understand. You know, I was, I, you are God and you can, you are all powerful. You can do anything, you know, why is this happening to me? And as I'm saying that this, it's like a, a film, like a, uh, like when you're watching a screen, you know, it's a, a screen opened up in front of me and it was like my life and it played from beginning to end my entire, like not my entire life, but pretty much the entirety of, of my drug addiction. And I mean, it, I mean, God was like violently pursuing me. He was, you know, there were angels guarding, there were angels hovering around me. There were angels protecting my vehicle with my kids in the car. I remember a specific night where I drove home. I had no idea how we made it home, but the angels were, were guarding it and, and they were carrying me home and with my kids. And I had knives pulled on me, you know, and just like angels are just, God is just assigning these angels to just pursue my life and to protect me. And then I realized in that moment that God had been pursuing me, that God has been watching me and, and loving me and protecting me and, and guarding me. And I was so wrapped up in everything that I was doing in my own life, in my own selfishness, that I just, I had the audacity to accuse him. And um, so as I'm watching this, I, I look up and I see God. And I know this is a strange thing to say. It's like, I saw I saw his, his beingness. It's like, God was, and he filled all in all. He was majestic and his throne was seated in the entirety of the universe and he was so majestic and he was so holy and he was so beautiful and I realized in that moment that I came from him that he was my father and that I was his daughter and his gaze was set on me and his gaze was locked on me and he was weeping it was like a mother that was that weeps and for her child that has been lost and I knew in that moment that he had always seen me he had always known me but I would not look at him and it's just I chose a different path but he followed me he was with me on that path even though I was destroying myself and my children um, that I, I looked up and I just began to cry and I just broke down and I cried out to God to save me and to rescue me and to set me free. 
and that I love him and that I see that I am his and that he is mine and that when I said those words and I called out the name of the Lord I called out his name is when his hand and his arm when the Bible talks about the arm of God being long and strong enough to reach there was a chasm between him and I in this moment and it was long enough to reach across this chasm and pull me out of falling into an abyss into hell and put me back into my body and when I woke when I woke up when I came to I just couldn't believe what had just happened I thought it was crazy I was like but I called my dad and I was like dad I've got to like I need help so from that moment on 2013 I called my dad and I told him I needed help I moved to Florida and I ended up going into rehab and graduating um, I met my husband here I've had a, some bumps in the road but you know that moment really really changed changed my life and um, I know and I understand that to some level that there is an invisible realm that there is a God and um, he's very very merciful he's very he's been very kind to me and um, I've had many many ex I want to say many but um, I've had quite a bit of experiences with him um, you know manifesting himself and uh, you know there was one time in 2012 where he actually physically walked into the room um, and I've had in some angelic experiences and um, I just I love angels I don't worship angels but I love angels I, I honor them I you know I honor that they love God and um, I just kind of want to bring a different perspective to the table and just kind of have a conversation about the experiences people have I, I want to you know talk about things that have been documented stories that people have written uh, experiences that they've had and um, you know have have a, a channel where we can we can talk about that and we don't have to necessarily agree about everything it's not about agreeing about everything with one another all the time it's you know because your experience can be different than mine um, so you know that's just a part of my story I'm gonna be having my, my husband's gonna come um, and join me on my channel and we're gonna talk about our um, you know our you know how we met and it's pretty 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 cool and there's just some wild things that happened between him and I that were just just could not be coincidental it was very um, much so seemed like dynamically placed uh, you know intricately placed and interwoven into our lives to actually meet one another and and how we came to that place and of actually crossing one another's paths so I'm really excited and um, you know I really can't wait to hear other people like I just I want to hear other people's stories I want to hear other people's experiences and encounters I am so excited for us to be able to go on this journey together and really just kind of you know kind of you know unfold mystery or, or you know I don't think we'll ever understand mystery but it is something I believe that is ever unfolding before us and think that each one of us holds something special and, and each one of us have our own experiences our own worlds that we live in the way that we see things our, our perspectives uh, even dreams you know uh, dreams that we have and just how things um, are just supernatural as, as human beings and I think it's something that we definitely need to embrace so uh, once again, my name is Misty Miller. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and uh, like my video and share and let's do this. Mm -hmm.